time that AstraZeneca has gone on record to say, yes, indeed, there are side effects. Uh, thank you very much for having me on the show. Almost 90% people in India who took vaccine, they took Covishield. So 9 out of 10 people have taken mm. Covishield. Secondly, the uh, no vaccine had, we are without any side effects. Some side effects were there, everybody. Everybody got some or the other uh, adverse side effects. But they were small enough. They were mild enough. Some very few people got severe side effects. Mm -hmm. Now, if severe side effects are there, for example, this clotting disorder, this can be there in COVID itself. This can be in long COVID. This can be with COVID vaccine. So it is very difficult for even medical community, leave apart the legal community, to establish right. whether it is from A, B, or C. Thirdly, it is so rare, it is almost 1 in 50,000 to 1 in 1 lakh. So it's a 0.002% to 0.001%. So in that sense, everybody need not panic. Okay. Things have gone ahead. Now, the second issue is at that time, we had a very bad delta wave when people were dying in and numbers and everybody, uh, uh, every family had at least one or two people who were sick. During that time, whether you take vaccine or wait for death, that was the situation. So people had taken vaccine, nothing wrong. Vaccines were given by government, nothing wrong. Vaccines were marketed by company, nothing wrong. Because at that time, there was nothing available. So we need to decide what is, uh, whether uh, uh, saving people is more important or few people getting some adverse effect is more important. Mm. And we have to outweigh between each other. And that time, uh, benefits were outweighed against the adverse effect. So now, it is now elaborately saying uh, some people have got vaccine, some people got problem, people have gone into court, they are seeking. Yes, they must, if they can establish that they got something from the vaccine, they must. But what has happened during emergency use authorization, when it was issued, it was phase two trial. In phase three was not done. Phase four, which is a post-marketing analysis, was not done. And secondly, the entire onus was put on respective governments. The companies were said, no, we are giving you and helping you because okay. we are not going to make We want to help humanity. So onus is on government to compensate if something happens. And that's what uh, contract has been signed with almost all the government, including UK government. Okay. The UK government decided to give 150,000 um, pounds if there is a death, death or 60% disability, but that is not enough to carry on the life of uh, dependents or the person. And therefore, people have right. gone in for higher compensation. Well, uh, Dr. Gilada, you've made a very important point that look at the time when this vaccine was being administered at that time, the pros were much higher than the cons, that you could take this risk and look at the benefits of what we got. We actually got to save lives, is what Dr. Ishwar Gilada has said. King sir, your dinner. On a tile? And it's antibacterial. Mm -hmm. Easy to clean. But plates? Can buy. It's a tile lad. Uh. I am plus technology se world class tiles. Tile ho, the simple ho.